welcome to the tutorial on uh, laplace transform and uh, today i am going to cover uh, the introduction part of it <clears throat> see we have uh, seen in network analysis we have done time domain analysis time domain analysis of the network say you have a network consisting of uh, uh, r l and a uh, capacitor right r L and C you can model this using a, a differential equation right because uh, if I apply uh, say for example this is connected to a, a DC source right and if I apply of some voltage 20 volts or something uh, and uh, if I apply the KVL here I will be getting uh, a first order differential equation now if you have any doubt regarding writing the first order differential equation, please have a look into uh, my previous videos of transient analysis of network networks. So it would be it is ba basically a pretty simple uh, equation wherein you write uh, a KVL uh, by combining the terms of uh, current and resistance for voltage across. For example, voltage across resistance is I into I of T into R right and uh, voltage across uh, uh, inductor is L into DI by DT of T right and uh, voltage across capacitor is 1 by C integral minus infinity to infinity I of T DT so these are the three equations of the voltages across individual elements R L and C now we have seen how to solve these equations in time domain now that is little tedious job to do I mean to perform the task in time domain so that is why we go for uh, S domain or it is also called as Laplace domain right so given any time domain signal f of t we can get its Laplace transform in S domain right so LT, LT stands for Laplace transform. So given a time domain signal, right, I can convert that into a S domain signal where S stands for sigma plus J omega, where sigma is attenuation factor, attenuation or it is also called as damping factor damping factor right and uh, omega is angular frequency right. so this s plane as it is mentioned earlier s plane will have its real part that is sigma and imaginary part j omega negative imaginary part j omega and minus sigma so this is this entire plane is your s plane right so as we have seen in uh, z transforms uh, z transform has its own plane right so it has a real axis a real part of z and imaginary part of z so it has uh, there is a concept called roc that is region of convergence as well here also we have ROC, but we will look into it as and when it is required. So for now, this is the S plane which I am referring to. Now, I have told you have a time domain signal and we get converted, I mean we get a S domain signal by taking the Laplace transform of uh, time domain signal. Here is the governing equation that is that will give us Laplace transform of any time domain signal. Right. So f of t is time domain signal. If you multiply it with the complex exponential, why do I say complex is? See this f of t is multiplied by exponential term with a raised to the power of minus st and where s stands for sigma plus j omega and s is a complex quantity. Right. S is a complex quantity. So if you are integrating your time domain signal with an exponential signal, that is e power minus st and integrating with respect to t okay so here the limits are on t t is equal to 0 to t is equal to infinity so if you integrate your time domain signal 
multiplied by e power minus st with respect to time you get the laplace transform of f of t right now the lower limit as you can see is t is equal to zero so if you had t is equal to minus infinity it will be called a bilateral bilateral laplace transform but in this case since t starts from zero and essentially infinity this type of laplace transform is called as unilateral laplace transform okay <clears throat> now why do we go for laplace transform when compared to your uh, dtft right see uh, th there will be so, sorry ctft ctft is ctft is continuous time fourier transform now if you have uh, any doubt regarding ctft or dtft you can watch my videos on signals and systems as well so uh, where i have uh, given the tutorial about ctft as well as dtft example a time domain signal f of t is equal to e power 2t u of t right 2 into t u of t this doesn't have its Fourier transform doesn't have this function doesn't have Fourier transform because this e power 2t is a growing exponential whereas e power minus 2t is a decaying exponential so this is of this type this is e power 2t and uh, e power minus 2t is of this type right so the Fourier transform equation that is if we denote it by f of j omega it is minus infinity to infinity f of t e power minus j omega t dt right and since this has a u of t term that is a, a single step function or unit step function so it has to start from zero right and uh, more of u of t and uh, delta of t i have uh, explained it in my signals and systems videos please have a look into it so this integration will start from zero because of u of t and f of t is e power 2t into e power minus j omega t this integral will definitely tend to infinity right this will definitely tend to infinity because this is growing time I mean, uh, yeah, growing type exponential, e power 2t, because at 0 you have 1, here also you have 1, but next instant, at next instant at 1, you have e power 1, which is more than 1, and e square, which is more than, at 2, you have e square, sorry, e power 4, if I put t is equal to 1, e, you get e square, at 1, you get e square, at 2, you get e power 4, and at 3 you get e power 6 and so on so this is this is a growing exponential and whose Fourier transform cannot be found but we can find the Laplace transform of the same by using this Laplace transform equation so the bottom line of this discussion is if you do not have if a function doesn't have a Fourier transform of its own it can have a Laplace transform. Right. So this is about the introduction to Laplace transform. Thank you for watching.